Good morning everyone. I am Rishali Dhanokar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. In my previous videos, we learn about different types of searching technique like linear search, binary search and also sorting technique like bubble sort and insertion sort. Hope you have watched my previous video. Now, in this video, we will learn about quick sort technique. So let's see what is meant by quick sort. Next. So uh, following points are covered in this video which includes what is quick sort, divide and conquer technique, structure, example, algorithm, advantages and disadvantages, analysis and applications of quick sort. And also there are some important questions which frequently asked in SPPU exam pattern. So let's see one by one. Next. So what is meant by quick sort? Quicksort is highly efficient sorting algorithm. It is based on partitioning of array of data into smaller arrays. Quicksort used divide and conquer algorithm technique and Quicksort is one of the fastest sorting algorithm. In industries or in real life also used Quicksort technique or we can say advanced Quicksort technique. In this video we just learn about some basic Quicksort examples and the technique. Clear? So, uh, quick sort used divide and conquer algorithm and fastest sorting algorithm. There are many different versions of quick sort that pick pivot element in different ways. So, what is mean by pivot element? So, pivot element means pivot element is one element or one input in the list where all the smaller elements are stored in before pivot and all the greater element are stored after the pivot element clear so all these things should be done in linear time that element is called as pivot element we can choose any element in the list as the pivot you have to always pick first element as pivot or last element as pivot pick a random element as pivot or pick mid one as pivot but in this video or while solving examples we always select first element as the pivot element in the list. Clear? Next. Now, before solving examples, first, what is meant by divide and conquer of approach? Divide and conquer is one kind of algorithm. There are so many algorithms like quick sort, merge sort. Then also, uh, there are some binary search algorithms. They use divide and conquer approach. Okay? So, what is meant by divide? Divide means the array is divided into the sub part, taking pivot as the partitioning point. For example, see, suppose this is the given list and we considered first element as a pivot element that is 31. So the element smaller than pivot are placed on left side and elements are greater than pivot are placed on right side simply. See here, 31 as a pivot element. So after partition, 31 means in middle, right? And the, all the smaller elements in the list are stored in left side of 31. And all the elements greater than pivot are stored in right side. Clear? This is called as divide approach. Now what is meant by conquer? The left and right subparts are again partitioned using the selecting pivot elements for them. This can be achieved by using recursively parsing of subparts into the algorithm. Now see here. After partition, all the list are sorted? No. So at the time there are two parts, left part and right part. So you have to again find out pivot element in this list. Suppose we considered first element as pivot here that is 13. So 13 is goes to middle. Left side means below 13 that is 2 and greater than 13 means 20. Means again it sorted it. Clear? Similar to right side. Means this is called as conquer. Divide and conquer. Clear? And last one is combine. This step does not play a significant role in quick sort. Mostly combine is used in merge sort. Merge sort also used divide and conquer approach. Clear? So the array is already sorted in end of the conquer step. In this way, divide, conquer approach are used in quick sort. So the basic concept of quick sort or steps of quick sort is first partition of array into the two parts, left, right, and in mid as pivot element. Clear? Then sort the parts independently. You have to again sort left part by find out pivot element. Again, you have to solve right part, find out the pivot element. Clear? 
and finally it combines the sorted subsequences by a simple concatenation concatenation means at last step all elements are sorted clear this is called as divide and conquer approach this approach are used while implementation of quick sort clear next now here just i will show you structure of quick sort select the first element of array as a pivot element for example we will see how the partition of array takes place around a pivot see suppose this is your given list so first element as a pivot this is the structure of quick sort this is a pivot element okay and remaining all the elements are unpartitioned at initialize or first time or initial time clear so while implementation of quick sort there are two variables are used that is i and j i means elements less than pivot and j means elements greater than pivot okay so how exactly quick sorts are work i will explain through examples next now see here this is just simple example of quick sort now see here suppose this is your given list clear this is your first step the first element always considered as pivot element that is 10 clear now remaining all the elements are unpartitioned okay now see there are two variables are used one is p another is q two index variable p and q are used to indicate lower and upper bound of current array position so p means lower bound and q means upper bound clear now next keep incrementing p until you find value which is greater than pivot and keep decrementing q until you find a value which is smaller than pivot okay so see here again i will tell you p and q p means lower bound q means higher bound okay p always find out element which is smaller than pivot and q find out element which is greater than pivot okay p means smaller element and q means greater element simply clear so let's take first step now check p okay you have to start implementation always with p now check p is smaller than pivot p is smaller than pivot 5 is smaller than 10 so condition true at that time p is incremented on the next step okay now check 27 is smaller than 10 no at that time condition false if condition true then only increment it if condition false then move to q place okay now p find out smaller element and q find out greater element now check with q 88 is greater than 10 condition true if condition true they move to next side or which is called as decrementation p always increment it and q always decrement it okay so q decrement it clear now again check q 25 is greater than 10 condition true so move forward or decrement so q placed at here again check 8 is smaller than 10 uh, sorry 8 is greater than 10 no at the time condition false now check p find out smaller element than pivot element 27 is smaller than 10 condition false q find out greater element than pivot 8 is greater than 10 no again condition false so see if both condition are false of p and q at that time you have to use swapping or interchange okay now 8 goes to here and 27 goes to here in this way clear p and q as it is only values are change 8 move here and 27 move here clear if both condition are true false then only you have to use swapping or interchange clear now again next now p points to 8 and q points to 27 so after swapping check the conditions of both p and q whether it is correct or not p is smaller than 10 pivot element condition true q is smaller than pivot element uh, greater than pivot element 27 is greater than 10 condition true so both condition are true after swapping variable means your implementation in correct way clear next so after swapping you have to check comparison of p and q both so check p is smaller than p points to current 8 8 is smaller than 10 condition to move forward and q is greater than 10 after swapping condition true 
again move forward or decrement it clear now next you have to check with p p is smaller than 10 condition false now again q is greater than 10 again condition false so both condition are false again you have to do swapping swapping means interchange so 15 move here and 6 move at this place clear now again this is p and this is q okay now check p that is 6 6 is smaller than pivot element pivot element means 10 6 is smaller than 10 condition true move forward q is greater than 10 15 is greater than 10 condition true again move forward now here p and q both are point to the same element or same location so what to do at that time now check which condition are true there are only two well either p condition is true or q condition is true right so check p find out smaller element than pivot and q find out greater element than pivot so 4 is smaller than 10 so condition true means which condition is true p condition is true q means greater than 10 it is greater than 10 no so condition is false here so which condition is true p condition is true so if condition is true move forward now p is here and q at that place as it is clear now c if q is smaller or equal to p what is the location of q location of q is 4 and location of p is 5 so location 4 is smaller than 5 so this is your last step okay initially what p and q so if p is cross the q so this is your final step okay so at that time what to do the value of q is replaced with the pivot element or interchange with pivot element so 4 move at this place and 10 move at this place clear now see here 10 is the pivot element at middle all the smaller elements are stored at less than pivot or right left side 4 5 8 6 and all the greatest element are stored on left side right side okay 15 27 25 88 in this way and pivot at middle clear this is called as divide approach or partition approach okay so this is called as phase one in now next phase there are two part left part and right part you have to again apply all those steps on this left part left part means 4 5 8 6 now at that time which is the pivot element first element that is 4 so 4 goes to middle and remaining at 5 8 6 so this part is already sorted right no because 8 and 6 is here so you have to implement quick sort on this approach and again in right part also so after sorting this and this at last you have to combine all those things and at last phase all the array will be sorted clear so which thing you have to remember p and q p find out smaller element q find out larger element clear if both condition are false you have to interchange or swapping it okay and if both p and q points to same element check which condition is true okay so this is called as quick sort clear next algorithm of quick sort algorithm means simply the steps that i already explained in the example first step choose the pivot element okay that is a of low low means first element put all the elements less than pivot on the left side and put all the elements larger than pivot on the right side and put pivot at the middle partition clear this is second step which is the third step is quick sort the array on the left of pivot recursively means you have to again apply quick sort on the left part and quick sort of array on the right of pivot recursively means you have to again apply quick sort on the right part clear so this is the algorithm steps of quick sort okay next uh, before that this is the a programmatic way if p is less than r you have to use partition array left side and right side okay and recursively call quick sort on this left side also and right side also clear next advantages and disadvantages of quick sort what is the advantages of quick sort it is in place it use only small auxiliary stack means it requires small memory because always swapping is there 
it requires bigo and log n time there are total n items are stored okay how this complexity are occur i all, i will explain in last unit it has an extremely short inner loop this algorithm has been subjected to mathematical analysis or very precise statement can be made about performance issues but the disadvantage is it is recursive means recursively call recursively call means again quick sort you have to apply on left part and right part etc especially if recursion is not available the implementation is extremely complicated right it requires quadratic time that is n square in worst case it is fragile fragile means if simple mistake is occur while implementation so your performance or your result is not get as want okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages of quick sort now analysis of quick sort quick sort is similar to merge sort i will explain merge sort in my next video it use divide and conquer recursive algorithm quick sort is one of the fastest sorting algorithm the average complexity is big o n log n and worst case complexity is big o n square i will explain it in last unit it is a place since it use only small auxiliary stack it requires big o n log n for sorting n items and it has extremely short inner loop these are the analysis of quick sort clear next applications of quick sort a quick sort is generally used in commercial applications generally it runs fast no additional memory is required this compensate for the rare occasion when it runs with big o n square algorithm okay quick sort never used in application which require guaranteed response time the output of quick sort or their response time is not guaranteed okay so life critical like medical monitoring life support in aircraft spacecraft this algorithm is used because it fast or fastly occur and fastly sort the data the mission critical like monitoring and control industrial and research plants handling dangerous material control of aircraft defense for all the database of that quick sort is used unless you assume the worst case response time clear next these are the some important questions which frequently asked in sppu exam pattern okay next hope you have to understood each and every point in detail keep practicing thank you